new release from Athern under the ready to roll line. These are the 50 foot FMC 5347 box car. Three different paint schemes with four cars. So we're gonna take a look at what you get. All of them have the same car body, but different paint schemes, roll name, roll number on it. So let's get a, take a look into it. Now we found a prototype of this box car. We're gonna compare the model to the prototype. We'll start off here on the B end of the car. You can see you have your horizontal wrap bar in here. Looks appears to be correct on the model for the, the handbrake. Looks good there, handbrake, correct position. The walkway platform here is good. Even the side ladders here have the right hand side going up a little further than the left you can come and take a look at the road name bull number it looks pretty good like appears to be the correct font this uh, yellow sticker here does represent it is represented well on a model as does on the prototype um, the grab barns here looking good the stirrup here got the little twist on the left hand side looks uh, pretty good there looks to be correct here on the model with the two uh, bolts as it is on the prototype. Uh, to come across here, the detail part is here on the model. Of course, roll name, roll number looking good. Correct font, look like a good color there. Plate C is in the correct position on the car, but the detail parts on the model are in the wrong location. Should be a panel over. So this guy should be under here, under the plate C. And this tack board should be right next to it, and this panel should be blank. Uh, looking at the door detail, the door itself on the model is incorrect, but it does have door mechanisms here and also here the handle. This detail part is on the prototype, as you can see. The detail part on the model should be down here. Coming across, you see that you do have. The rails for the doors, the top one, that looks like a good shape as it appears on the model. Coming down here, the bottom one does represent the bottom rails and door looking good. The model does not not have the other detail part here. It's supposed to be under the loop board build date, but the loop board build date sticker uh, looks, uh, looks pretty good on the model. Once again, the font on the car in this location um, does appear to be in the good standings with the prototype and also this distance here. The patchwork here, the covered CSX does match the same location on the prototype and also it has this yellow sticker here that's supposed to be up here now on the bottom. So they got this one wrong on the model. Looking at the model versus the prototype, under the proper ground of Atherin has the pet job of the road name roll number um, matching the prototype, which is done very well. So I feel as though that since they went through the effort of recreating the car, you know, this is one of the things that should have been the correct location. Just had to push it back one and it would be fine. But it is, you know, it's not a 40 or $50 car, but it is the fact that you went out your way and looked at okay patch roll name roll number let's do with that but this detail part was um, you know wrong but anyway but you got the doors right you got the stencil on the doors looking right also a little guy right there little stenciling they did you know a good job of re representing this model here as far as all the detail parts on the car that represented the as you can see it's been done uh very well i do like it of course, it doesn't have a cut lever or the brake pipe, but you know, it's, it's like a $26 car, I believe this is. But all the cars have the same car body, and some of them here have different doors. So, 
this model right here represents its prototype accurate than this other guy here because they have a different door. So, I like them. I like that they get you a head start on weathering your cars. So I got to come here and hit this with a wash and that pretty much uh, be cool unless I want to go with a little graffiti.